Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In previous video we were talking about theoretical introduction to time series data. Today we will be spoke about some base forecast methods that we can use here. We will focus about formulas in Excel. We will not use, for example, uh, the data and forecast sheets. We will focus about how we can make it with formulas. So once again, forecast is important for companies to predict values for some next periods. It can be days, it can be months, quarter, half year data, or even early, even yearly. We and to which data we can uh, predict. Usually, it can be some cost, it can be production, it can be inventory or warehousing, and it can be budget for for the next year. Uh, and now let's focus about so forecast method. We spoke about three methods: so simple moving average, uh, exploratory smoothing, and uh, some linear regression methods. Let's start from the most simple, so moving average. Basically is um, mean as previous set of the values, a specific periods uh, in, in our data. So here I will create three simple moving averages. So quarterly, half a year and yearly. So to create uh, quarterly, let's go to the three third value and use average formula for all of the three and let's drop it till the end of our data. The same we'll do for half a year so let's go to half a value as well the same formula so average and six month value. Let's put it here and next end of the data let's go for our yearly and average for Here and let's move it here. Uh, and end of this process, I would like to visualization this data with our real data. So let's add here, it here. Okay, to understand which data we are plotting now in this visualization, let's just add a legend. Let's move it a little bit to the right and let's make it bigger. Okay. So here we are. So here we see that we have moving averages. All the values, previous value, are treated the same, so equal. So let's go for the next method. It will be exponential smoothing. Uh, in Excel, it's formula forecast ETS. Let's use the whole previous year data for it. So forecast ETS. Target value is here. Values. here and timeline is there. Please be aware that you should have uh, time data in our monthly. It should be directly the time data type for it. In either other case it will be showing us value or dive in error. Let's move it here. What is different between, I mean major difference between moving average method and exponential smoothing is that the is talking approximate decrease request of observation get older so in other words the most recent data is treat more important so our the, the recent sales and production is more important than previous value in this case and as well let's plot it here okay here we are and the last the last method is linear method we're using linear trend here for this purpose, we'll use a linear regression model. So it's, the model basic is checking bit, uh, is predict using um, relation between two variables. So between data and between uh, production, because we are still in monthly production beer data in Austria. So let's move it here. Let's move it linear. And as well, let's use it for the whole year. So for this purpose, we'll use formula forecast linear. And here the x value is data that we'll use to predict. No x is monthly sales. X, x, this will be a data. OK, so here we have the value. OK. And let's add it to our plot. Okay, here we are. 
As we can already see, the most uh, data which is taking the most seasonality, the um, data it's plotting with seasonality and all increase is uh, ETS. Averages are more, let's say, average data, so it's going plotted with small number of difference. The same is for linear models. Uh, linear data should give us a prediction with total linear, so it's not very useful for predict, but give us understanding how data is working. So yeah, that's it for this video. In next video, we'll see how we can measure how our data is good between real and what we can, what we are predicted and what we can predict. And yeah, thank you for watching.